well, we knew he had a good voice for singing, you know, because he did do a lot of singing, like in church. And uh, he made his first public appearance when he was nine years old. It was a school competition type thing, and uh, he won uh, third prize, sang an old ship. And he, at that time, he couldn't even make no kind of music, you know, he just sung the song and it was it. One thing that was good, he never changed his feelings about people or about anything, really, you know. I'm sure he was very happy with his success and uh, all the things that's happened to him, but uh, good. But it didn't uh, make him think he was uh, something that he wouldn't, you know. I uh, lived with him till my wife died in 1958, his mother, which we had uh, been married for 27 years and uh, then in 1958 he went to Germany in service. I went over there with him and when we come back in 1960 I remarried. That's when I moved out of Graceland and I haven't lived in Graceland since then. But I live, my land joins his, I live right at his back doors. So we're still together. I know he can't go out like an ordinary person, you know, because people see him and of course they recognize him and they worry about this and that. And uh, there's been so many different news reports out that they've made him into a, a hermit type guy like Howard Hughes was supposed to be in, you know, I don't know how this stuff all gets started, but uh, it's not really true. Ever started in, a, in, a, in the latter part of uh, 54, and he went through 55, was doing pretty good, you know, locally, Arkansas, Texas, Mississippi, just touring the country. Mm -hmm. That's where he met Colonel Parker. In 1955, uh, Colonel Parker was booking shows down through Florida, he had uh, People like Hank Snow, Marty Robbins, just a whole package deal of the Grand Ole Opera stars. So he booked Evis with Axe, you know. At that time, Evis's manager was named Bob Neal. He was a disc jockey there in Memphis. So uh, Evis got to liking the Colonel and the Colonel got to liking him. So that's where it started. Colonel Parker, is an honest man and I think that's where the the big organization and the big uh, togetherness comes you know once you find out you don't have to worry about a guy being your manager what he's gonna do for you he handles it you do the show and everything works well The following message was recorded by Mr. Vernon Presley at Graceland in Memphis, Tennessee, just a few days ago. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for all the cards and letters that you have sent since the passing away of my son, Elvis. We have all the flowers and the letters and the cards, which we will eventually get around to answering the majority of them. But I just wanted you to know that we appreciate them very much, appreciate your concern, and you have been a great help to me and the family during this time of grief. I'd like to thank CBS for it allowing me this opportunity to do this, to let you know that we did receive your cards and all the flowers. And ladies and gentlemen, this picture that you have just seen is the last live performance that ever, ever done on stage. Thank you.
God bless you.